guys, Rob here from Movie Review Time, and welcome to Day 7 of the 31 Days of Horror Challenge. Hope you guys have been enjoying my videos so far. Uh, I apologize for being late um, in, in having to do the, you know, a couple of the first ones over again. But I'm going to keep going. So today we're going to talk about a Stephen King adaptation that I think is one of the best. It'd definitely probably be my top 10. When it comes to that, they did a TV series too, but that was just, that was really stupid. Um, but the movie is really good, and it is Stephen King's The Mist. Now you have Frank Durbont, who directed this, who also, you know, developed The Walking Dead. And you can see that here. There are actors and actresses that appear in The Walking Dead series. Uh, you got Thomas Jane. You have uh, Marsha Gay Harden and Laurie Holden. Fantastic cast in this, guys. Um, basically about this mist that engulfs the entire town. And these people are stuck in a grocery store. With the whole front of the grocery store is plate glass window. And they can see outside. And this mist is just there. But nobody really knows what it, what it is or where it came from except for thomas jane because he saw that in the beginning but i'll get to that but yeah that's the whole film they're in this grocery store and they're trying to survive they're trying to figure out what to do um it's kind of got like a claustrophobic aspect to it because of the fact that you are stuck in a situation for so long you're going to start thinking different things you're going to start reacting different you're going to start saying things it's, you know, it really shows you what happens when you put a bunch of people together for, for like a long period of time and, see, you know, see what happens. Um, but yeah, guys, like this is, it's, God, the, the story is so, it is so good. It's got, it's kind of got like a sci-fi feel to it, you know, as well as horror, but um, it looks really good. You know, the the effects, like the mist, when it starts to engulf the town, it looks really good. But basically, you have Thomas Jane, who uh, works for this, he, like, works for this uh, studio. He, like, makes, like, movie posters and stuff. Um, the storm happens at where he lives. He lives kind of off this lake or whatever. And uh, this really bad storm uh comes up and knocks over a tree from his neighbor's yard and it and it basically destroys his boathouse and so him and his neighbor don't really get along and he goes outside sees that the you know that the tree basically destroyed his boathouse and so they're going to exchange info and stuff like that they're being pretty friendly about it so um, he offered thomas jane offers to give his neighbor a ride into town because his car won't start but anyway before he does that, he looks out onto the lake, and there's, like, mountains. Off the mountain, there's this mist that's going like this, and it's going down to the lake, and, and uh, so they start saying, like, what is that? Like, oh, a mist? And and they're like, oh, yeah, it's, it's just coming off the mountain there. Like, it's just a mist. And um, so that's where it starts. So we get to see, like, where the mist is coming from. We know it's coming from the top of the mountains there. Um, so then as the story progresses, you get to learn that there's like an army base or like a top secret base, almost like an area. I want to say compared to like an Area 51 at the top of the mountain there where they do research and they they um, like classified stuff. And um, they talk about that on their way to the supermarket. Now they have to drive into town. So they live out of town pretty much out in the country a little bit or like in a like a suburb area they have to drive a pretty good ways to get into town as they're talking back and forth um and then they get to the grocery store and the grocery store basically has no power like their their power is shut down because of a storm so then moments later the mist starts to you know this alarm the the, the like the tornado siren goes off and you see the mist just engulfing the town. Now, that caught up pretty quick because, like I said, 
he lives out of town and that's where basically it started so it didn't take long for that mist to get to the actual town um engulfs everything you hear people screaming outside this one guy starts running to the grocery store something in the mist something in the mist took john lee his nose is all bloody he's telling people not to go outside this one guy goes outside and you hear him scream so there's something going on in this mist they don't show it right away there's something going on here some guy is like oh maybe it's a poisonous gas cloud I mean, it really makes you think, like, what if it is? What if it is something like that? This one lady, she goes out in the mist because her kids are at home by themselves and she doesn't care. She goes walking and she somehow she survives. She's sitting there walking and she, you know, like, what the hell, lady? You got balls of steel. Anyway, come to find out there are these creatures that live in this mist different kinds of creatures flying ones little bugs with stingers big huge creatures with tentacles that actually are alive and actually eat you there's like big huge um cr like they have like claws kind of create like there's so many there's spiders that basically shoot webs that are acid that that could like the when the web gets on you it goes through you these creatures are awesome man but the story is, is that the people that are on top of the mountain doing research, they opened kind of like a portal or a doorway. And this other world comes spilling in, which was this mist with these creatures. So these creatures that are from another, like another dimension or another world. So that's really cool. That is a really cool, like story plot um but it's basically them trying to figure out what this mist is how to get some help and then they're inside arguing about what they should do should we go out there and stuff like that and then you have this crazy ass lady who's religious and she starts saying well this is the end of the world this is god's word this is what god is punishing you for because you're sinning and, and he's sending these these creatures after you, you know, you have to make a blood sacrament or a sacrifice. And so, so she, you know, everyone in there is basically not getting along because they're stuck in a place. So, I mean, the gore and the, and the you know, the, the I want to say the death scenes and all that are really good. Especially when in the pharmacy, when they go in the pharmacy and there's like the spiders um, those are really cool. But the ending is really what I want to talk about. The ending is very controversial. Um, if he only, I'm not going to give it away, but he does something to certain people. You know, Thomas Jane does something to certain people. Uh, he does it to them because he doesn't want them to suffer. He does, it, the situation calls for it because something happens where they can't I want to say escape, but but something happens where it feels like he has to do it because he doesn't want the worst to happen to them. And I can understand that, but if he would have just waited five minutes, five more minutes, everything would have been okay. Th this is one of the most shocking endings I've ever seen. And it makes me want to like hit the desk with my fist over and over and over again. I mean, who do you blame? Do you blame the government or do you blame him? It's like five minutes is all it would have took. But that's where it gets you, man. It's like, it's like, ugh, what it could have, should have. But the ending, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad ending. It's, it's shocking, but it was good. Yeah, guys, this movie is great. It is one of my favorite Stephen King adaptations, and I really think you guys should watch it if you have not seen it. This is my recommendation to you. Um, yes, fantastic. I just, I can't stop. I just really cannot stop thinking about it, like the, the really cool creatures that are in this. That's really what makes it. So that is my pick uh, for day seven is The Mist. What did you guys think of The Mist? Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments. Did you see the TV series? I saw the TV series. I just It just didn't interest me. Like, there were way too many side plots going on. 
with characters that you just did not care about. Um, yeah, it, it was nothing like that. It, this one, the movie was a lot better. Thomas Jane is an underrated actor. He is so good. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of this movie uh, down below. Um, subscribe for more content. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for day eight of the 31 Days of Horror Challenge. I'll see you guys in the next one.